with bad hair days and non-conformist fashion sense, they didn't fall into the polished mold of potential hit artists. But their kind of music, often dismissed as pedestrian, simple, and groovy, was difficult to resist. Going beyond expectations, the quartet excited a Filipino musical taste. Four years later, they've kept the same image and attitude, but their music has gone to greater heights. Well, congratulations, you recently won the Asian Viewers' Choice Awards. You're the number one pop band in the Philippines today, and having been the only band to win this award, you've been in the industry for, what, six, seven years. What makes you tick? Um, we just love music, that's all. We just love music, we just love music, we just love music, we just love playing live, and recording. Have you uh, quit all these dreams of becoming a mass comp practitioner or a... a uh... Yeah, ever since 1991, we, st we stopped schooling formally. Uh, and we opted for this, uh, for this... Sino sa inyong unang nagbigay ng idea na, come on, let's get together professionally, let's form a band? We didn't say professionally, but we were just uh, hanging out in the dorm, so... In Kalayaan, sa UP? No, it was just people sitting down and passing the guitar and until everybody left. Tapos kami lang yung natin ba? Wala nakinig sa inyo noon. Kanya-kanya kasi yung gimmick. Oh. Yung ibang, <laughs> ibang barkada, gusto mag-basketball. Hmm. Yung iba, gusto mag-karate, kung ano man. So you were searching? Kung yeah, ano ba talaga, so saan ba kung magaling? That was the time na hindi na, nawawala na sa usin New Wave, which was actually, yun yung generation namin eh, New Wave. And then, bumabalik na yung classic rock like Juan de la Cruz and all that. So, nag nagkahalo-halo yun, those influences. So, until na dum dumating yung time na gumagawa na kami ng our own songs. Yeah. Yeah. Paano ka yung apa? How do you put your heads together? And uh, compose a song? Do well, you argue about it? Yeah, we argue a lot. You argue about yeah. compositions. Mm -hmm. Sino mo susunod? Sa anong linya? Paano yun? We vote. We vote. Oh, very democratic. Ultimately, it's it's what what's best for the for the song. What gives you the inspiration to write your songs and eventually play it and perform it the way you do? Everything, life. Okay. Friends. Okay. Experiences. Si Marcos medyo mahiyan yata. Ikaw may philosophy major. So ano? <laughs> what inspires you? <laughs> Anyway, so when you argue, sinong madalas na susunod? Yung producer namin, si Robin, pag sa recording, kasi yan sa last say, kung music making, it's usually the composer. Yung mga stick or happy? Cut? Cutter pillow. Cutter pillow. Ano yun? Ano yung banana type? What does it mean? A razor head? Nothing actually, we just... You just put fascinated with... You're the one who's fascinated with compound words. So yeah, there's something about you know putting two uh, ordinary words together that don't have any connection. Yeah, that don't have any connection and getting something more interesting out of it. Yeah. I mean, music, I mean, we just we just borrow from a lot of influences, mga iba. So what does it mean to music? Nyo? It could mean anything to anybody. Subject to interpretation. Mm, it means one mean thing anything. to us. Yeah. 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 Mean, mean a lot of other things to other people. Ano favorite song nyo sa mga kinumpose nyo? I guess, wala pa ah. Close second. Ellie. Uh, oh. <laughs> Casa Fantastica. Marcus. Uh, shake your head. <laughs> and Raymond. Magazine. Uh, eh, yung El Bimbo. <laughs> ang, ang mahilig doon yung mga ano. Oo, oh, hindi namin pangunito doon. Maganda yun ha. Well, <laughs> <laughs> to some, to us. Yun ang nakapanalo sa inyo. Um, mm -hmm. No, we're just proud of the song. We're not... We're, we're really happy with what happened to the song and where and what's where it's going. Do you espouse any crusade? Meron ba kayong statement? We try to be, uh, we try to stay away from politics. politics. Really the biggest um, statement na magagawa ng band is is one of self-expression. It's it's always been that naman siguro. It doesn't matter where you came from or what you know or what you can do. You just so do it. What you have to say. So, tingin ba nyo itong fad na ito ay magtutuloy pa rin? I don't think it's a fad. It's been six years. It's, yeah, it's not a fad, fad anymore. It, it, 
if, if this love for way, bands will uh, continue and stay. You know, band, but bands have been around for a really long time. It just so happened uh, they resurfaced. What's the term? They went mainstream in '93. Again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if it goes down, it, it'll still be there in the underground, and we still will still play the same gigs. <laughs> Once upon a time when I was really 